Trender News. Global shame. Days after leaving office. See what just happened to Brawi. That's bad news for him. You're welcome to today's news. And thank you for tuning in to this channel. But please do well to subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button and also the bell for more updates. To the news details, carefully listen to the end. The controversial launch of Nigeria A at the twilight of the administration of former President Momo Dubuari has been declared as a fraud by the House of Representatives. The chairman of the House Committee on Aviation, Nunlin Onanji, declared that the launch of Nigeria A is a fraud after major stakeholders in the deal between the federal government and the Ethiopian Airlines denied knowledge of the launch. Recall that the freshly commissioned Nigeria A Boeing 737 aircraft left many Nigerians agog after it was spotted heading back to Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, where David Undain, Nigerian investigative journalist, said it belonged. Undain's investigation, among others, showed that the Nigeria Air Boeing 737-860 MAX has Ethiopian registration number ET-APL mode SQ4005C and serial number 40965-4075. It was checked Pardon, business days checks also show that the aircraft changed colors, but ownership remains that of Ethiopian Airlines. It was also revealed that the aircraft is about 11 years old, and its first flight was on June 22, 2012, as Ethiopian Airlines aircraft. Last week, David Ondain would track the aircraft after it was commissioned by the federal government, wrote, Expensive stage probe has been returned to its owner safe and sound after being used to entertain 200 million mumu with press photos until next time. Behold your freshly commissioned Nigeria Air Boeing 737 heading back to Addis Ababa right now as we speak, where the arid paint job will be removed and will go back into at Fly Ethiopian regular service. Today, the House of Representatives said the Ministry of Aviation claimed that the Nigeria Air was only unveiled and not launched in an attempt to divert the lawmakers' attention. Reports added that members of the House of Representatives were shocked when NAMA disclosed that the aircraft bearing Nigerian colors was on a shattered flight to Nigeria. Other stakeholders who confirmed the disclosure noted that a shattered flight could be painted in any color and with any inscription. Just a few days after the ex-president of Nigeria left office, Buhari, it has been shown that he, he has done fraud. Remember that no matter how long you've done something, one day the truth would definitely come to the limelight. So this is what actually happened to Brawi. He actually said that they are launching in Nigeria A and which was a lie. They borrowed this, this 
aircraft that passed Nigeria was chartered by some people who are coming to Nigeria and was colored. They, they changed the color to the color. If it's a chartered flight, you can change the color to the color you want. And once it gets back to the, its pack, they're going to change the color back to their pack. So this aircraft is actually for the Ethiopian. And why the Brawi had to do this? Does he think that Nigerians will not later get the real truth about this? This aircraft is 11 years old. It is not even a new aircraft. And this was just what he did before. He, the, among other several frauds he did, this is one of the fraud in which he did. And this was actually made to be known by David Ondeo, who actually tweeted that you people, the, the fake airlines, the airlines you're saying is fake. And he credited this fake airline as final act in office to cajole Nigerians that he actually did something, he, he launched a Nigeria Air. And there is no Nigeria Air anywhere in the world. Now, this is actually a disgrace to Burari. It has gone international a few days after he left office. Even the chairman of the House Committee on Aviation also said that the launch of Nigeria Air is a fraud. After the major stakeholders in the deal between the federal government and the Ethiopian Airlines denied knowledge of the launch. So who is it deceiving? Why is it involved in crime? Even despite telling us when he was sworn in that he wants to fight corruption, he wants to curb corruption, yet he's the one still bringing up this corruption in the country. Dear listeners, we have come to the end of the news. What's your view to this? Please share your view in the comment section. Thank you.